this is Krista Abbott with KristaAbbott.com and I am here today to show you a real neat little free Twitter resource that I found that will help you keep your Twitter followers balanced. Now let me hop on over to my Twitter account here and show you what I'm talking about. Uh, if you look at your following and your followers numbers, you're going to want those to, to be as balanced as possible. Ideally, you're going to want more followers than people that you're following, but at, at minimum, you would want them to be even, and uh, at most, you would want to not have any more than 100 uh, people that you're following in comparison to the number of people following you. And the reason for that is that Twitter will actually block you from being able to add more followers or being able to follow more people and potentially get more followers by your following them if you don't have a, a balance here like if these two numbers are really far apart and uh, you you are following way more than you have following you then Twitter will actually give you an error message and say hey you can't add any more friends right now so you don't want that to happen you want to keep the the Twitter people happy so that they don't block or flag your account so a neat little thing you can use to help you do that is friend or follow now friend or follow you can find that here at friendorfollow.com and it is a, a free resource that is online you just go to their site and all you have to do is type in your Twitter username and click submit and what they're going to do is they're going to pull back a report for you that shows you a couple of things. First, they're going to show you the people that you are following, but they're not following you back. Now, it's okay to have some of these. There are a few people that I already know are on this list because they're leaders in the industry, and they don't make it a habit of following people. Um, but there are also some some things here that I'm not familiar with uh, and and so that I'm gonna want to go in and unfollow those people so what I generally do is just go down the list here and I look through some of these and I make a decision I go over to their site see this is this is what could happen this account has been sus suspended due to tra strange activity I'm glad this happened so that I could show you what I'm talking about and why this tool is important. So um, this is a person who had their account suspended because of some kind of strange activity. You don't want that to happen and keeping your Twitter followers and following balance can help avoid stuff like this. So I'm going to go over and try and find another one here to show you what I'm talking about. And uh, what I like to do is just come and look and see what kind of posts these folks are doing. Is this something I'm going to want to continue to follow even if they don't follow me? And from looking at these posts, I'm going to say no. That's, that's not information I want plastered all over my wall. So that person is out. And then what I, another thing I like to do is go over and look at these here that don't have pictures of real people like here uh, and you know if somebody's not going to put their picture up then you know that, that they they're probably not someone I want to connect with they're you know online biz for you that's probably you know they're obviously here for business but come on at least put your company logo up or something so I'm going to unfollow that person and come over here and you know check out I even check out a few people that maybe I don't know who they are if they have a face to go, to go with it so I'm gonna just gonna look down at some of the stuff that this person's doing and you know I don't it doesn't look too spammy he looks like he's interacting with some people here so this may be somebody that I might want to 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 follow for a little while or try and connect with so what I may do here is uh, just come and try and start a conversation with this person and say hey I'm enjoying your tweets look forward to learning more about you 
and just kind of reach out and I'll keep an eye on this person and next time I come and run this you know if he's still not following me at that point I may I'll have to make a decision do I want to continue to follow them or not and after I go through all of those then the second thing I like to do is come over here to the fans section now what this is is these are people who are following me but I'm not following them back so if somebody's going to take the time to follow me and be interested in what I'm tweeting, then, you know, the least I can do is return the favor and follow them. Now, there are a couple of exceptions to that. Um, I'm not going to follow um, what may look like a company or a spam site. So I see uh, something here that has kind of a strange picture. It looks like some kind of a... Yeah, I don't know about that. So I may leave that one alone. Uh, a lot of retweets. It may be okay. Oh, I'll follow them for a little while and see what happens. I can always go back later, right? Now here, an, somebody else without a picture. I'm not sure about that. Okay, well he has a picture when I get here, so that I can live with. Um, he's got a decent amount of followers. Let's see attraction marketing you know it's probably somebody in in my industry that I would want to you know stay connected with so I'll go ahead and follow him and then uh, other things like here's one you know, credit answers you know I didn't ask for that so I'm just not gonna follow them I'm not following them and I'm not going to I'll just leave it alone they can follow me if they want to um, and so that's pretty much how you do that. You just go through and you read them. You make a decision to follow or not follow, to uh, unfollow or continue following. And so this is friendorfollow.com, and it's a great little resource for you to kind of keep those Twitter followers all balanced out. And um, I hope that you're able to use this. This is Krista Abbott with KristaAbbott.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.